like the art style. No. Oh. Of course you are a cat. Tales Wildwood story. Oh, very cute. Welcome to the demo. In this demo, you'll be able to play your first 10 days in the Wildwood until the end of the first season of spring. Some features are limited or not available in the demo. You can continue your progress from the demo upon purchasing the full game and save data will transfer automatically. Thank you for playing. Cute. All right, that as it says, uh, this is Wildwood. Or, uh, this is Cattails, a Wildwood story. Let's turn this down a smidge. So it's not blasting chat's ears out. Alright. But yeah, basically, kind of how this has been described, or at least by most people, is that this is kind of like uh, Stardew Valley, but with cats. But uh, supposedly there will be like combat and some other stuff, but uh, let's go ahead and find out what this is about. Oh, you get to create your kitty! Cute. Uh, we'll go with the standard. It's just kind of a giveaway one that I, I do. Yeah. Oh, you can choose from all kinds of cat types! Oh, that's so cute! I love that. Oh man, they've got a lot of they got a lot of cat types. Look at that. And what kind of cat would I want to be? I feel like if I was, I'd want to be a... Uh, what's it? A ragamuffin. Or I guess even a calico would be cute. brown calico. We won't make it too complicated. We can even put on accessories. That's cute. Very cute. We're gonna be super cute. Oh, and you can even do the eye color too. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can even have the cat have heterochromia. It's kind of cool. Leave it blue. Blue's a pretty color, especially on this cat. Oh, you can change its color. You can change its type, though. You can make it fluffy or skinny or large. Cute. You can even change the cat voice. Oh my goodness. You can just do all kinds of stuff with this. My gosh. Okay. Uh, spring five? Sure. All right. Select your game difficulty and other accessibility options. You can change these later at any time from the in-game pause menu. can even make it faster. We'll do we'll do quick for now. <laughs> Impossible. Cute. 
We'll go with easy. We'll go with quick, just for the sake of time, because I don't know how long these days are gonna go. Random enemies. Hmm. Okay, I am going to turn light flashes off, just since it says about those that are sensitive to bright flashes, so... Okay, we'll do auto-run. Alright. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their forest, the, the world, the forest guardian. The word of the guardian was law, and all cats revered them. From the sacred temple, the guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. A horrible rift was opened, was ripped open in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found, and a new temple must be built, or else the guardian spirit would not survive. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called, and all the cats of the forest attended. Together they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life? You, Myra, a great a cat of great renown, offered to lead a group into the unknown and build both a home and a new temple. Soon cats from every colony, every colony took up your call. Once enemies, now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. Aww. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. What will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we are cat colonists. Oh, Coco. Another day, another campsite to establish. This looks like as good a place as any. Black dirt ground and good hunting nearby, according to the scouts. Let's all work together that we sure we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark. Oh, I love all the little cat portraits. That's cute. Oh, do we really have to set up cat again? We just did that yesterday. When are we finally gonna pick a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. I haven't found anywhere that's got the right resources to keep us going. Myra will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Myra? Of course, Myra will make an announcement once we find a new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. We've all survived a difficult winter. Now that spring is here at last, our luck may finally turn for the better. I suspect it will soon. Spark, we really could use your help. Where are you going to sleep if the shelter's not built? You're not my little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need you to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. Hey, Myra, I'm going to go out and hunt. In the meantime, do you suppose you could help Spark feel better? I think Spark would cheer right up if they had some Valeria to energize them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Always puts a spring in my step. I saw a huge cluster of Valerian just south of here, across the brook. Alright, I'm headed out to find some dinner. Remember, the Valerian is just to the south. Best of luck to you. Oh. Alright. I am a kitty cat. Alright, Valerian root. Set it. Ah. There we go.
This is cute, though. And I love all the cats. There you are. What's that smell? Smells like... Valerian? Did you find some Myra? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I really think it would help my headache. Inventory, select Valerian, hold it, give it a spark. Uh, cute. This is your inventory. Here you can view all the items that you are currently carrying. Select the Valerian and press E to hold it in your mouth, then close your inventory and give it to Spark. Ah. Yeah, sure. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling better already. I can do this now that my headache is gone. I'm ready to help build the shelter. Thanks, Myra. Sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Thanks for your assistance, Myra. I'm glad you found that herb. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items that you find is a, hell a wonderful way to make friends. Now we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from here. Oh. Those pesky, slippery mice. Everything okay over there, Coco? You're looking a little stressed out, you know. I regret to inform you that I have returned empty-handed. Today does not seem to be my day. Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food or we're all going to be very hungry. Myra, you've always been an excellent hunter. Would you care to accompany me? I'd be more than happy to point out where I smelled some prey. Tutorials! Yes, I think this will work splendidly. The mice are just to the east through the forest and then a little south. I'll lead the way. Alright. Thanks for agreeing to help, Myra. Between the two of us, we'll catch plenty of prey in no time. Now there's just the small matter of this dreadful breeze holding us ba back. Seems this narrow pathway has created something of a wind tunnel. It's picked up since I returned. Do you feel it, Myra? The gusts are low to the ground. I suspect that a well-timed dodge may be enough to avoid them entirely. Why don't you try to dodge the wind gusts and push ahead? Press control to perform a dodge. Avoid the wind gusts and press onward. Uh oh Wee! 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 Excellent work. The clearing where I saw the mice is just to the south. I'll meet you there. I do like the art style of this. I like how they have like pixels, but then like hand drawn portraits and stuff. Do you smell it? There's a mouse hiding somewhere around here. Mouse! There! It's a mouse! Now's our chance! First you need to sneak so it won't see you coming. Get nice and close. The closer you are, the higher your chance of success. Don't get too close. If you do, the mouse will notice you and run away. Once you're near, pounce. If you're successful, you will have caught the mouse. If not, you can always try again on another mouse. Good luck to you. You were so close to catching that mouse, but it looks like it got away. That's all right. We all miss. Our, we all miss from time to time. You should try again. I'm sure you'll catch the next one. Okay. Right. All right. Got it. <laughs> Bravo! You caught it. Great work. Turns out all I needed was a buddy, because I caught one too. Now we won't return empty-handed. There's all sorts of prey you can hunt in the wild. Use your nose to track them down when you get whenever you get hungry. Speaking of hunger, I think I just heard your belly rumble. You must be famished from all the work you've been doing today. When was the last time you had a bite to eat? Good thing you have that mouse. You should probably eat it now so you won't starve. Uh oh. Well, I mean, I guess with survival sims, you kind of do need to eat. Kind of do need to eat. Okay, we we'll grab the mouse. Inventory. And eat. There we go. That looked like it was tasty. Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. It isn't good for your health to go too long without a meal. Alright, we've done our duty. I have a mouse to bring back with us. 
What do you say we get back to the campsite and see how it's coming along? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? We should investigate before we head back. Think you could check it out? Oh. Hi. Uh-oh. That doesn't look friendly. Looks like you're on your own for this fight. I can't get to you through this wall. You can do it. Keep a level head. I'm sure you can win. I'll give you pointers. You can use your claws to swipe and deal some damage. It'll probably take a couple hits to take it down, judging from the look of it. Be careful to stay out of the way of its attacks. Be quick and agile to avoid taking damage. I'll be reading from you from here. You've got this. Attack. Avoidling. Avoidling cat. Rude. area. Oh. Nicely done. You've made quick work of that thing, whatever it was. Oh no, it looks like you've got company again. Watch out! Uh-oh. Two of them this time. What are you going to do? Oh, I've got it. You may find it easier to defeat them with a charged attack. Wind up your attacks to unleash a more powerful variant and launch yourself into the battle. Try it out. You showed them. Well done. And the path to the campsite is open again. I think when you defeated those Voidling cats, the shadowy wall went away too. What do you think those things were? Why did they attack us? We need to report this to the others. They should know if there's danger around. Let's head back to the campsite and let everyone know what happened. I think we're getting money. Void marrow. Raspberries. Hold on, I want to explore. There might be other things about. Nice. Alright. Attacked by angry shadowy cats? That doesn't sound good. What if they're still out there, lurking in the forest just beyond the camp? What if they we aren't safe? Jag is right, that sounds dangerous. Oh, what are we gonna do? Strange voidling cats, you say? How intriguing. What a wonderful opportunity. I would love to spot one for myself so I could research its behavior and properties. Are you, you are you wearing a plague doctor mask? <laughs> the good news is, is that Myra was able to defeat them. That means we stand a chance, right? Whatever they are, they aren't invincible. I was sure would like to learn more about them next time, but or them before the next time we encounter one. Oh, hi. <laughs> <clears throat> greetings, Myra. Greetings, all mortal cats. I cannot long manifest my presence here, but I have chosen this moment to appear before you all with fateful news. The Forest Guardian. We are honored to be in your presence, great guardian spirit. I have missed you dearly these past few months. We all have. It is good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. But I have come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow you all will settle in your new permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. Then a new temple shall be constructed, and I shall abide with you all once more. Permanent settlement! Oh, this is wonderful! I think I speak for all of us when I say that we are ready to be home at last. But what of the Voidling Cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a threat? Do not fear the Voidling Cats. Dangerous though they may be, I will teach you to overcome their power. Their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time, you will understand. In ages long past, this region was known as the Wildwood. It has been inhabited since time immemorial. 
When I felt the presence of the Voidling cats, I had a sudden premonition that there is some good that we will be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you have journeyed to this land. Myra, I will teach you to speak with my voice so that you will have power over the Voidling cats. The skill I am about to teach you is known as Lion's Roar. Use it when danger is near and your enemies will scatter. <laughs> you have done well. With time and experience, you will be able to improve your Lion's Roar and use it to even greater effect. I have every confidence that you will be able to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. That sounded terrific. If I were a Voidling cat, I'd be quaking in my boots. Puss in boots, huh? Is it true that we're going to finally have a home for ourselves? I can't wait to see it. I have to admit, as much as I like seeing the world, it would be nice to build a shop and slip back into the daily routine after all this time. I've gathered quite a large inventory while we've been journeying. It's getting harder and harder to bring it with me when we move. I'm ready to stay in one place. Yes, it would be nice for me to have a sterile environment to treat my patients. I could have a clinic again at long last. Plague doctor, ha. Huh? Do you have any idea how hard it is to treat a wounded cat while on the road? Aw, oh, you mean all that work I did building the shelter was for nothing? We won't even need it after tomorrow. That's okay though, I wouldn't mind having a real home again. And it sounds like we are agreed. Next, we should have Myra decide exactly decide exactly which part of the Wildwood we should settle in. I have the latest scout reports right here. These are the spots that would make for a suitable home. Which one will it be? Hmm. Or a sparse pine and oak woodland, a welcoming, hospitable place to build a home. Gentle river flows through this flowery field. Mysterious swamp overrun with wild willows and weeds. Oh, so you can choose a number of them. A volcano! <laughs> yes, volcano. Hey, the forest is looking kind of nice. But then so is the beach. Eh, we'll keep it vanilla and we'll go forest. That looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice. Now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? Oh. <laughs> Whale? Uh. Wow, you can really go in with customizing. My gosh. Which, I'm guessing this means we're going to run into other colonies, I suppose? And that would be good. Oh. We don't want any mimics. Ooh. I think I'll go with the tree, though. I like the sound of that. And you can get called all kinds of names as the leader. That's cute. Mm. I kind of like Lady, since it's like the female version of Lord, I guess. too crazy. Alright, we'll do that. The Wildwood Realm? I like the sound of that. The first light tomorrow, we will travel to our new home. Let's all hear a cheer for Myra, Lady of the Wildwood Realm. <laughs> we are a bunch of cats, after all.
Oh, wow. Actually building a proper settlement. With lamps and everything. Here we are, home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish this town, haven't we? This is your new den, Myra. I hope the location is alright. If not, you can always move it later. Inside, you'll find everything you need to feel right at home. A bed to sleep in, a calendar, even a scratching post to train your skills. Why don't you go check it out for yourself? You've had a long day. I'll bet some sleep would be nice. Aww. Oh, you have a record play, which I'm guessing means you can have music. It's my birthday, Coco's, Crampy's, Ring Festival, Storage, that's nice. Oh, do we use uh, fireflies for light? That's cute. Gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. Oh, it's like your, your channels, cute. Kitten detective. This is cute. Hmm. So it's like a detective drama. Hmm. It's a magical television spring. Hey, hey, welcome back. We are trying out, uh, what was it, Cat Tales, uh, Tales of the Wildwood. We are a colony of cats. It's essentially spring, uh, Stardew, but with cats, which is cute. Uh, we'll go sleep. We go sleep. How did you sleep? I don't know. I don't think I can read all this. Kind of like I don't in uh, Stardew where I can't read like absolutely everything. Otherwise, time and energy and everything. So I'll leave you guys to do the reading. Oh, they got the temple built. stuff too. Okay, of course it has to be clear. Sprouts not like today apparently they are weepy today. Oh no! Was it too cold? Or are they too dry? I hope they can park up. down where it was seemed suitable and out of the way. Here we go. Yeah. Toss some sticks and a few to prop them up. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't know if they just need more water. I guess it's just a matter of what kind of plants they are. But, um, I mean, just, you know, check if, they're, check if their soil is dry, if they need more water, not enough nutrients, or if something's bugging them, if they're root-bound, like, there's all kinds of things you can check to be sure that they're, they're nice and happy. Although if they're sprouts, they shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't have enough roots yet to get, like, root-bound or whatnot. Or a bug got to them. That's also a possibility. So we can go mining. Mole cash. <laughs> I'm good. Well, I guess it makes sense to have a mine. Oh, you can access your storage here. That's nice. Currency is called Muse. That's cute. What a good sales cat. your appearance on the go. That's nice. Hmm. Oh. 
Sticky keys. Nobody asked you. Freaking sticky keys. Pockets. Ah, okay. So she sells food and things. Decorations. Oh, and uh, music discs. Cute. What do we use this stuff for? Mm, we'll sell all of them. the little lock means though I do like that they seem to have like automatic NPCs on the map at all times that's really nice oh and you can change your name cute explore you could forage I guess you can fish too if you wanted to there oh you can't sneak while swimming got it I wonder what the bubble means though And I could go around having a ball just going around collecting things all day, my goodness. Hmm. No. I don't want to go too crazy. Hey man, this demo is longer than I anticipated with all the like time and things you can experience with this. say go to the temple I think I guess that's why you have, why all the cats in your neighbors have the 
realm emblem next to their name. new cats. <laughs> oh, what does it need? Oh, I can get a bunch of cats. Okay, so herbs unlocks gardening. Looks like combat unlocks squads. Unlocks a museum? Oh my goodness. Doesn't look like we can unlock this one yet. I need fish. Fish and flowers. Oh my goodness. Uh, I guess I could see about trying to unlock the gardening. We do have golden seal, so there's that. Oh man, I sold my Valerian. I need to get lavender too. Okay, well that's cool. That's kind of like the museum in Stardew. I'm guessing we're gonna have like other things. Hmm. Oh. Man, already has, already has ways for New Game Plus. My goodness. I guess if you wanted to start off strong, that's one way to do it. Oh, I can, I can cut grass too. I wonder if you can find anything in the grass. Oh, you can find money. Go figure. Oh. Oh, that was prey. <laughs> Oops. Whoops, pedals. Hmm. Uh, sure. <laughs> Trippy. Yeah. That's funny. No, false. Does the average domestic cat sleep? Uh, 21 hours? Oh. I guess it was 15. That would make sense. Yeah, it's like cats can't run that fast. Ooh, what's the smallest? Magdal? Oh. Singapura. I think that's true. Hey. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. A power paw. Nice. <laughs> that was actually really, really cute. Like, it's nice to know that it's kind of like a blend of, like, oh, kind of the survivor ability, but also like, dang it. But it also can have like opportunities for like little silly things like that, uh, what's his name? Lavender. 
I see prey. Bam! I got a magpie. <laughs> I am best hunter. Oh, hi. It's like I didn't even really see them until I wandered up upon their name. I do kind of like this little mini game you play. Oh, and I guess uh, that's your sense of smell that tells you where stuff is. That's a bird. But that's gotta eat. Oops, some stuff over there. Do I catch Can I catch bugs? Thrush. I'm glad they give you that little mini map up there because I feel like you could get lost really quick. It's nice that they can tell you where you should and shouldn't go. Cute though, I appreciate this. Yeah, this is a this is a decently big demo. Oh my gosh, Festival Plaza. Another power ball. That one's our health. Nice. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe I could go mining for a bit. See what that's about. Oh, is this also like Stardew? Where you have to like mine until you can find the entrance? you if there's more than one entrance or exit. Hmm. Wonder what that matters though.
Yeah, mining's kind of like Stardew. You mine to find things, and you mine to find your way down further. Uh-oh. We about to be hungry. You have to say. <laughs> we'll go down. I don't know how valuable the rock debris is. Oh, pray. Ah! Oh. Rude. Dumb bat. can leave okay so yeah you can go back to the stairs you can just instantly leave that's nice so cut grass I'm guessing it's kind of like Stardew, where it's like the further down you go, the better your loot, of course. Oh, I'm hungry. Oops. There we go. Yeah, oof. You get hungry, you start, uh, hurting. I guess that's understandable. Let's go bed. Go to bed. Oh. Hi. Uh oh. Summon Moby? Hi. Oh. Oh, that's cute. He can he can build for us. That's cute. Oh, we got mail. Nice. We got mole money. <laughs> Hmm. 
Got all kinds of currency and tokens and things. I mean, we need to tell them what's going on and be like, hey. huge. Again, I love, like, just kind of how much freedom you actually have. I haven't found any Valerian yet. Got those. This cat cannot be recruited in the demo. going for a while but uh this is actually really cute and i might continue looking at this on my own in uh, my spare time but uh the demo is out there again it's part of uh steam farming fest for you guys um to check out i i forget i think this game is out again there's been like so many games that are either like upcoming newly released been released for a while or whatever but uh this is a wildwood or, uh, cattails, the wildwood, and such. Very cute. I uh, love, like, all the little sprites and stuff, and just being a kitty cat and stuff. Um, a lot of variety and things you can do. Uh, it has a story, which is really neat. But, uh, yeah, the demo's out there. You can try it out for yourself. <laughs> 